Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ben in the Loop, and today I wanted to cover this new Trippy Red EP slash album, St. Michael. It was announced just a couple days ago on his Instagram, I believe, and this Friday it's already out. Um, it has a couple uh, snippets that he previewed from a couple weeks ago. It had some songs from his SoundCloud leak that he had uh, also a couple weeks ago as well. Um, and there's a lot to take out from this album. First of all, I'd like to say that this album is probably the best body of work he's put out since Trip at Night. I think that this is one of his best projects when it just comes to consistency. And with that being said, I think that this is the best thing he could have done at this point in his career after the last two projects being very mixed on their reception. I think cutting down the track list to just seven was a really good idea especially since the last two albums were super bloated, especially Mansion Music. I think it had like 25 tracks, I'm pretty sure. And this, so this EP being only seven tracks and 17 minutes in runtime, I just think the songs can hit harder when it's just a shorter track list. I think it just allows us to take in the songs that we do have and it doesn't feel super bloated. Now, with that being said, the shorter track list will definitely decrease the album sales. Um, that's just how it works. You know, if you drop a 20 track album compared to a seven track EP, the 20 track album will get more streams because there's more songs. And the seven tracks, I think, is kind of an indicator that I don't think either Trippy or maybe the label, they just don't care about the album sales. And I see that as a good thing because because the last two albums especially had like mansion music for example 25 tracks and I think over it felt like over 20 features on that album is that truly what he wanted to do or was that something that was done so they could boost the album sales by getting all these big name features I think it's the second one I don't think that's truly what he wanted to do so with this new St. Michael project much more concise it's only trippy and I feel like this is the most in character I've heard him in years like there's a lot of things that he brought back from his older music like the stretching of his vocals the the last you know yelling vocals that I thought was really good his presence was so much better than the last two albums he was switching up flows and most importantly I think the funny thing about this seven track album is this seven track album was more versatile than his last two projects one of the biggest problems about his last two projects which was mansion music and uh, a love letter to you five mansion music hit the same note for I think 25 tracks it was just hard trap beats over and over and over. And it was cool the first six tracks, but it just got exhausting by the end of the album. And for A Love Letter to You 5, there are a lot of slow songs, mostly just R&B, you know, ballad songs. And that's fine on their own, but listening to it for 20 songs straight, as a listener, it's very draining. One thing that I think made his earlier work special, like A Love Letter to You 4, Life's a Trip, and even A Love Letter to You 3, was that the albums were very versatile, where Life's a Trip had songs like Dark Knight Demo, but it also had songs like How You Feel. Both of those songs are completely different. You know, one's a hard trap song, another one's like this guitar ballad. And that's kind of what Trippy's appeal is at the end of the day, is how versatile he can be and how expressive he can be with his voice with different styles of music. And when he puts that together on an album, that's where I think he thrives the most. And this album is the first one in a while that used this formula. Because you have songs like Van Cleef Island, which is a much more traditional trap song. And then you have songs like OK Cool, which is much more of a rage cut. And then you have songs like Pray For Us, which is like a drill style of music. And I think that was really what we needed. I think we needed a return to form showcasing his versatility on this project that I've been missing for years at this point. And the best thing he's done is now he's going to be releasing another seven track album in the coming weeks or months. I don't know how soon it will be. And then he'll put together the album that way. It's really refreshing to see how many people are actually really messing with this project, even though it's kind of a quieter crowd than it used to be. But this album is just all him with, you know, a bunch of different beats, uh, very, very versatile delivery. And I think it, even though it's not an amazing project, by any means. For Trippy standards, this is one of his best projects in a long time. And I think that this was much needed in his point in his career. And I think that not caring about album sales was really what made this album different because I think he's just being, I think he just has the green light now to just do what he wants to do. And this is allowing him to be much more creative and he doesn't have to follow like a certain formula of, oh, I have to do another love letter. I gotta be, you know, singing these ballads and, you know, doing these slow ac acoustic songs or, oh, I gotta do mansion music where I gotta recruit, you know, 24 different features for this 25 track album. It's just him for seven tracks and that just works super well. Anyways, um, I really enjoyed this album a lot. Uh, even though it's not perfect by any means, uh, it was very, very important. I think that this album was the best thing he could have done uh, right now uh, to get people back on his side. So. 
uh, let me know what you guys think about St. Michael in the comments below. I am rating, I'm saying it's about, for his standards, I would say it's like a like an eight out of 10. Uh, I think it was a really good project uh, for seven tracks. Uh, a lot of good tracks to take out of it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. God bless.